Hey there, everybody. How are you? How are you doing? Um, I've had a few people ask me to do a hey, look. Y'all ignore my nails, but the acrylic then came off of one. So I'm thinking about just taking it off of everything. So I have a habit when I talk to do my hair like this. I ain't no, you know. Anyways, um, I'm doing this video because I was talking to a young lady. Uh, she wanted to talk to me about some things that she was going through. I am ob obviously not going to give her name. But um, she's not the only person that came to me about this particular situation. And it's so crazy because of everything that's going on right now. Um, and we were talking a lot about sexual assault in the black community. And at first I was like, I'm not going to do the video because ugh, we're talking about it all the time. It's all over the place. But there is a common question that keeps coming up. Excuse me. And the question that keeps coming up, excuse me, is why is this happening? Why is this happening in a community? Let, let me explain something to y'all. Okay. There's definitely a spiritual side to, to this. Okay. And the spiritual side, I'm going to talk about that on um, my ministries page. So make sure that, and I'll probably put the link in the description box so that you can get access to that. So you'll see um, the video that I'll be doing on that. And we're going to be talking about the spiritual aspect of the things that's some of the things, not everything is I will be there for at least four to five hours, but some of the spiritual things going on in the black community. But let's look at things. Let's look at this from a natural perspective. First of all, as a people, we've gone through a lot. Obviously that goes without saying we have gone through a lot as a people and in understanding some of the things that we have been going through and in understanding the things that has happened to the male figures in our community, we have, I guess I can say we have gathered a sense of responsibility to cover them. Okay. It's women that's doing it too, but I'm, I'm talking about, cause a lot of people were talking about the men that do it. Women do it too, okay? So a lot of people were asking, you know, well, what in the world is going on? Why, is, why does this keep happening? And I said, because we cover the black man. That's what we've done. And one of the main reasons why we do it is because they have to go through so much in the world, not just in the U.S., just in the world, period. And we feel like, for us to report something, to say something, to turn in somebody or anything like that, it's tearing them down. So just don't say anything. And I I remember when I was younger, um, I remember being at a relative's house and a neighbor came over. Some of you guys who may be related to me, when I said, you're going to be like, oh, wait, I remember that happening. I didn't know she, you know, remember that she was so young. But there was a neighbor that ran over and her face was bloody, blooded up and all this other stuff or whatever. And she had ran over to the family's house. We had like a family cookout going on. It wasn't anybody in our family. It was a neighbor. She ran over, face was bloody. I remember thinking to myself, oh my God. So they tell all the kids, go inside, go inside. You know, some of the adults coming outside, baby, what's going on? What's going on? And... Apparently what happened, because, you know, we, um, we're not supposed to be there. We're not supposed to hear anything going on. But, you know, me and my cousins, you know, we got our ears to the wall listening. Hold on one second. Adriana, go back. Thank you. See. Um, so I remember hearing her say that her boyfriend or her husband, I think it was her husband, um, had beat had beat on her. I even remember hearing some people in the family say, well, that ain't the first time he's done it. They said, well, baby, just stay over here. Do you want us to call the police? She said, no. 
I don't want you to call the police. They said, well, you sure we need to call the police? I remember hearing somebody else say, well, that's their business. Don't get in their business. Now, I'm not throwing shots to my family. I'm just saying because it's not just my family that would have responded that way. Okay. That's their business. Um, somebody said, well, go get an ice, you know, get, get a bag of ice. And so me and some of my cousins looking at each other like, oh my God, she got beat up. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Never had I ever seen anything like that before in my life. But my mind went back to that situation. So all of that particular situation wasn't sexual assault that I know of. I mean, I was super young. They may have said it, mentioned it. I probably didn't catch on to it. But when I think back on the situation, my mind goes to the fact that, first of all, to even ask somebody, do you want me to call the police? Why? Because we have this sense of, it ain't, it ain't my business, baby. That's what's in their household, stay in their household. Who am I to judge? I'm not. And because of that, we downplay the seriousness of a situation because of embarrassment. We don't want to be embarrassed or we think, well, nobody's really going to take us serious or, um, you know, they just want to turn the black man down or the black woman down. It just will handle it on our own. And because of that, it, it kind of put into the mind of the, the, how can I say this delicately? Because I have to be, I feel myself. So I have to say this delicately. The the victimizer, okay, the perpetrator, it makes them feel like what well, they don't like what, they don't like this. They know that it's not right, but how much trouble am I really going to get into? If Uncle Jojo does something to little Susie, we're not, don't talk about it no more. They're going to go to Uncle Jojo. You know what you did was wrong. Don't ever do that again. Pop, pop. All right, let's let it go. So now Jojo done got away with it with little Susie. I can still come to the family cookouts. I'm still invited to the weddings. I'm still on the deacon board. Maybe I can do it again. Now here's the problem. I remember the saying my mother used to say, hurt people, hurt people. Now, little Susie then went through this and she feels like nobody has stood up for her. So there's only one or two ways that Susie is going to turn out. Susie is either going to be a hard rock Charlie type person. And she's dead set. Oh, I ain't going to never go through this no more. I can't stand men and blah, 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 blah. Any kids I have, I'm going to tell them don't trust nobody but yourself. And this isn't this. She's going to either go on that side. Or she's going to end up becoming the victimizer. Uncle Jojo decides. Little Billy looks good to me too. Uncle Jojo goes to little Billy. Same thing happens to little Billy. Now you got little Billy that became a grown man. Little Billy out there doing what he do. And it just so happened to be doing this mess around the Me Too movement. Now everybody's snapping off on little Billy. But nobody was there for little Billy. When little Billy was going through when he was little. I'm not excusing the victimizers. I'm not excusing these pedophiles. I'm I'm not I'm not excusing this. I'm a victim. So I'm not excusing this mess. What I'm saying is I think while we're also doing like this to the person that did wrong, we need to find out who did what wrong to who first. Yeah, we know we know uh Billy crazy. But when we look at it, kind of find out Billy the way he is, because Aunt Aunt Bonita, she did what she did to him when he was three, four, five years old. Come to find out, Aunt Bonita, this happened to her because her own daddy did that to her. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, I think we need to start, in order for us to heal, we need to start getting to the root causes of this mess that's going on. And understand. We have one of the things that we have got to stop doing is letting people get away with the mess that they have done. Because you have people walking around right now who who cannot properly heal because 
the person that that did them wrong is still walking around in the family like they ain't never did nothing wrong. Y'all still ain't holding a person accountable. We just don't talk about it. Why? Now you're trying to figure out why this person is so promiscuous. Why this person's so crazy. Why? Yeah, she sleep with everybody. Dang, he doing this, this, and this. He seemed like he can't keep it in his pants. And da, da, da. Well, look at the mess they done been through. I'm just saying. Let me, let me bring it down. I apologize. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think it's time that we hold people accountable for the things that they have done. And, and not just the ones that we're pointing to now say, you did da, da, da to me. Because honestly, Grandmama knows why such and such did what they did to you. But don't matter. Talk about it. Great grandma knew she wrote it in her diary. It was found out the great grandmama was gone. But hey, burn it. Don't talk. And I'm saying that specifically because I had a friend of mine. I'm hoping don't know, don't nobody know who I'm talking about. But a friend of mine came to me and told me that after her great grandmother passed, they got their um Great grandma's dictionary, I'm not dictionary, uh, 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 diary. Got her diary and found out she was assaulted by three different uncles. Three different uncles. All her kids got different baby daddies. This lady had about seven or eight kids, all lit with the exception of one, because they were twins. But every last one of them got different daddies. But she was the talk of the whole family. But everybody knew what was going on with her. But ain't nobody help great grandma. So now great grandma going to her grave with a hole in her heart because family didn't stand up. Look, I understand we love our family. I understand that. I understand it. We love our family. We want what's best for them. But it's time to start holding people accountable. It's time to get help for these people that have victimized these folks. Because, yeah, we want to get help for the people that, that have gone through the assault, the ones that, that, that are the victims. But what about those who victimize them? They need help, too. They need help, too. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just, I, it's just, it was a very long conversation that she and I had, but she's not the only one that I... I hear my son in the back. She's not the only one that I've had this conversation with. It's several people. And I've seen it on social media and on YouTube and different people saying, yes, yeah, time out. Because we got to do da 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 and blah, 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 blah. Like the whole R. Kelly situation. <sighs> I don't even want to go deep into that because too many people are already talking about that. But I would say this. Yeah, if all of that stuff is true, and I still feel some kind of way about some food, but I'm going to say some of that stuff, I believe, is true. I believe it wholeheartedly. But I think somebody need to get him some help, too. I'm not excusing what he did. Not at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. But what I'm also saying is that man needs some help. Because he's hurting, too. Sometimes you could go through mess for so long, it's no longer hurt. It turns into hate. It turns into hate. It turns into disgust. And, and, and people become bullies behind mess like this. You see what I'm saying? And I, I don't know, man. I just, that's just my two cents. I'm not a licensed, you know, psychologist or, or a psychiatrist or any of that other good stuff. All the twist of ironies that I am going to school to be a Christian counselor. But still, I, I think, yeah. But that's just, that's just my two cents, man. That's just my two cents. That's just my two cents. I th I think they need help too. So while we're getting help for the victims, I I think and even and it's and it's hard. It's hard when you have gone through what you've gone through behind somebody, and then to have to turn around. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. Here's the crazy part about it. I am connected to some people on Facebook, to at least two people. That sexually assaulted me. So if we were to really open up these books and say, okay, this person, it will blow y'all mind. 
it will blow your mind. Now, look, y'all go start going through, scrolling through and stuff. Think who you think it is? Who you think it is? But no, seriously, for real. For real. Real talk. Is this, is, man, it's real, man. God had to help me with forgiveness. I ain't gonna lie to you. God had to help me. God had to help me. Oh, God had to help me. I'm telling you. And now I can finally say, because for a while my, my prayer was, God, how do I know that I have truly forgiven? You know, because from a, a born again believer's perspective, and not my perspective, but according to the word of God, like we have to learn how to forgive. We have to, in order for our, our mess to be forgiven, we have to be able to forgive people. And I was like, God, I want to be right. I want to be saved, show enough. I want to make it to heaven. But show me how to forgive and not just for them, but for me so I can move on. And this mess won't keep festering in me. I hear the person's name and I'm like, I, I feel like I can't function or, or I feel like, you know what? Would I be wrong, Jesus, if I was to go handle and stuff? I and, and what God had to show me, God said the sheer fact that you're able to pray for them. That's that's a sign of forgiveness. So I'm like, I'll take that, Lord. I'll take that. So anyways, this has definitely gone on long enough. But y'all y'all be in prayer for, for different people in our family. And if you've had somebody come up to you in your family and say, look, this is what happened to me. I think it's time that we start revisiting some of these things and stop excuse. Oh, they, do you have any idea the damage that it does to a person? It's almost like. To have something happen to you and you tell it, but then that person is walking around like they ain't never did nothing wrong. Everybody else in the family, who knows, is just treating this person like they ain't never did nothing wrong. Everything is all good. They, psh, we, we don't talk about, we, do you have any idea what that does to the victim? Then you're trying to figure out why they acting like this. Why are they hanging out with these people? Why are they dressing like this? Why are they walking like this? Why are they talking like that? I heard that they messing with little kids. I heard it. Now you're trying to figure out, I don't know where I went wrong. What happened? Did you ever hold people accountable for the mess that they did? I'm letting this go because this thing, this, this turning into 20 minutes. I'm just, oof. Mmm. Conversation. And she might see this girl. You got some started up in here, mm. y'all. We can't keep acting dumbfounded when people start acting certain ways and stuff, and we're like, "I don't know where it came from." You do know where it came from, and I really do believe not standing up for a person, especially when you're in a place of authority, when you have the ability to take up for somebody and you don't, I believe that you're a part of the problem. I do. Everybody don't believe that. Everybody don't believe that. But I do. I believe you're a part of the problem. There are, man, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I'm going to let this thing go. But I'm going to tell Shoot. I'm going to tell you. Because there, there's, man, there's one person in particular. That my mind is hitting right now. And although forgiveness has hit. And I thank God for that. But I just because I forgive you. Do not mean that I will not hold you accountable for what you did. It's only by the grace of God. I'm going to say on their behalf. Because God is trying to give them an opportunity to get themselves right. Get themselves together. But it's only by the grace of God. That the full extent. I'm going to let it go. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't inbox me <laughs> or, or send a comment, girl, what you talking about? Who is it? No, but those closest, no. Oh, it ha it is not that I have forgotten. No, no. It's, yeah. Well, anyways. All right. So, uh, catch y'all later. I love you guys. Feel free to comment.